What's going on guys, anti-hipster indie nerd here back with another video. This one will probably be rather short, but I discovered something cool as I was browsing on the internet for some video ideas. If you read the title, you know why we're here. We're talking about icebergs, and I'm sure if you've been to my channel before, you probably know what an iceberg is at this point. Honestly, if you've been on the internet in the past year and a half, I'm sure you know what an iceberg is at this point. But just in case you're new to this thing, an iceberg is basically a chart sort of thing where at the top it has more common entries and as you go down the list uh, it becomes more obscure and less known but what i found today is an iceberg maker where it actually like scans your spotify profile and all the artists you listen to and it creates a iceberg for you based on your own artists that you listen to so i thought this would be really cool to check out and we've got it on the screen over here so as you can see at the top of mine, you have the most popular artists on my playlist, which you got The Weeknd, Kendrick Lamar, and Kanye. And uh, I also want to say before we go deeper into this, this part of the iceberg, this is all like recent. These are all artists that I've recently listened to, uh, but we'll click this here in a little bit to see like all time, like every artist I've ever listened to. I guess it takes all of them. So we'll see how, how that looks. Uh, and then below... Um, it, it seems like the top two tiers are mostly like hip hop, um, like hip hop, pop sort of lane, Mac Miller, Anderson Pack, Jid, uh, obviously all very hip hop centric figures. And as we go down here, we got Beach House, Alex G, The Strokes, getting into the indie rock sort of uh, vibe. I'm not really sure Weezer should be down here with um like beach house and the strokes i feel like they're a little bit more popular than uh than those two bands but i don't know of, of course weezer's not at the popularity that they were in the 90s or anything but i don't know i feel like they could have been bumped to tear up same with freddie gibbs actually i feel like he belongs in like the mac miller kid cuddy lane but i don't know and then of course you got more obscure down here gene dawson always who actually both just released really good albums portis had a trip hop trio that got their start in the 90s sudan archives had a great r&b record and as you go down it gets more and more obscure cutting linguists i'm surprised aren't in this bottom tier with these guys uh built a spill classic 90s rock uh but the rest of these like if you're not big into the current music scene you probably don't know most of these people jer is a ska artist who released an album this year kieran j callanan you might know who he is uh guys Guevara had an album this year but supercar is definitely the most obscure artist i think it's fair to put them at the bottom they're a japanese rock band from back in the 90s and i listened to their 98 album a lot i'm actually not sure what it's called i think it's just called supercar but yeah, let's click on this one and see who we get. There we go. So uh, yeah, same top as before, but then we got Charlie XEX, Paramore, and Radiohead here. Of course, more popular rock bands, but it's nice to see rock mixed with some rap in the second tier. Uh, and then this is pretty similar to before. We got Brock Hampton, who I think that's a good spot for them. They're pretty mainstream, but not mainstream enough to be with like a Daft Punk or Kid Cudi. Uh, and then you got your, like, your, I don't know what you would call these, like, the people who make topsters and stuff, like Death Grips, My Bloody Valentine, like, literally everyone in this tier is probably on someone's list that likes alternative music. And then at the bottom here, we got uh, Crying, great band, they're pretty obscure, they, they haven't released an album in a while, Sadistic great rapper but also pretty obscure tone deaf of course in the same lane as statistic um but yeah i mean this is really cool i guess i don't i i don't know if uh if like if you have artists that are even less popular if they appear in these two things down here but i would assume so i guess i just don't listen to anyone that obscure that's probably people with like like less than a thousand monthly listeners but yeah props to um Akshay Raj, I think that's that's the name I see right there, uh, for making this. It's a cool piece of technology. I think a lot of people will use this. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you guys do this, who's at the top and the bottom of yours. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Just thought this would be a fun little thing to do. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.